Hidden Object Guru here with Haunt New Game Pretty Girls Breakout. Now, uh, this is an arachnoid, arachnoid, arach no, arachnoid would be something spidery. An arachnoid like, or a breakout like, with pretty girls. Now, I didn't really look into what the details are, so it's possible that if, as you win missions, pretty girls are going to get naked. And if so, obviously, we're going to be... Oh, it's in Japanese. That's unusual for a game on Steam that I got from an English ad on Keymailer. But yeah, it's all in Japanese. Well, you know what? The game doesn't come out for seven days. Maybe they're still translating it. It's not a lot of help because I don't... Anyway, you know what? You don't need me to explain it. Wait, do I have a sword? What? Oh, that's cool. Alright, I'm immediately way more on board than I uh, usually am with this type of thing. This is more like a mini game and an action game than it is a breakout. Because I've done this exact mini game where I have a sword like a bunch of times. Oh, I put up a shield, see? Oh, it's got five hits. Wow, that is powerful. So, what are all of those... What's all that text on the side? Yeah, she's getting stripped. I've just seen the line on the screen. Whoa! Yeah, so she's got a... Some sort of a tunic on underneath. Her jacket. We gonna have to be real careful with this one. So, I'm gonna have to... Well, that was really embarrassing. I haven't learned the timing of the sword yet. That's something I'm gonna have to work on. Uh oh, I'm running out of time. There's only four minutes left. Well, that was embarrassing. I was trying to hit it late so I would push it to the side, but I think it's not, it doesn't matter how late you are, it matters where you are in position to it. Like, I was treating this like it was a baseball bat and hitting it at the right time could change the direction. But I think it's more likely. Oh, thank God. I mean, I shouldn't have wasted one. I just was so happy it was there, I decided to let it do the job. Come on. Ah, oh, yes. I can't believe that worked. Wow, she didn't lose all of her outfit. Interesting. Thank you for the new record. Oh, okay. So, see, I thought she would start in the next outfit and strip further, but it doesn't look like that's an issue at all. There might be less nudity in this game than I expected. Maybe none at all. I can't promise that, and obviously I will be editing it out if there's any. This is YouTube, after all. We're just here to find out how good a game this is. They're ready for possibly a blackout. Oh, no, we're fine. She's still wearing that uniform. Oh, I guess we're still on version one of her is the thing. Okay. So is that supposed to be like a temple uh, worker tunic? Because the only time I see tunics like that is, you know, no! Oh, I gotta pay more attention. There's an anime where there's a lady taking care of a shrine or temple. But maybe it's just regular casual robe. I honestly don't know a ton about Japanese fashion. And by that I mean traditional fashion. Didoi. I'm well aware the Jap... What? For it? Where? The Japan is fully on board with suits and pants and coats and dresses. Come on! Yes! Uh, nope. Yeah, it just matters where you are. Whoa, that was a close one. I feel like they might have cheated that one for me. I feel like the clothing reveal line went to the exact same place. Gotcha. You know what those dots are up there? No! I was so desperate to get that wall to save me, but... Nice. Oh, yes! Two at once! Oh, look, she's got a different outfit this time. It's like a 
Careful. Boom. Honestly, this is quite a quality uh, Arkanoid like. Irrespective of whether or not this lady gets naked. This is a very high quality Arkanoid like. It's. Yeah, see, no nudity. Nice. So there's uh, one, two, three, four girls. I was worried this was going to be much more lascivious than it seems to actually be. So, what was that? Six or eight girls? Three to four levels each. That's not that many. Now, there might be challenge modes later on. Obviously, I can't speak to that because I just started playing the game. Come on. What? Oh my god, I just saw she's wearing bunny ears. Or no, barriers. Those are barriers. That is so cute. And it's making me think of Bear Man. Careful. The Canadian uh, character from uh, Earth Defense Force. World Brothers. What a hilarious caricature that was. No! got this. Ugh, I'm so bad at timing this. I think that's something I would pick up later, but for now, I just gotta say, what's impressing me most about this is just how, like, satisfying a pure Arkanoid like it is. Like, rock solid, uh, man, fake physics. Lots and lots of power-ups to keep things interesting cute characters, and then you got the stripped-down girls on the side, but honestly, they're just changing costumes. It's cute. Right now, she's got, like, uh... Oh, no! Two block! Two hit blocks! Uh, right now, she's got her giant t-shirt on, and underneath, she seems to be wearing some sort of, I don't know, one of those weird one-piece bathing suits? That, again, I'm familiar with only from anime. Or uh, Amazing Video Game Blue Reflection. Have you seen that one? It's about magical girls in a high school, but it's like really, really serious in the way it talks about depression. Like, really good game. Very excited for the new one soon. Hopefully they will send me a copy. And if not, I think I'm going to buy it because I really like that first one. It's called Slow Mo and I'm great at it. Sir, do you think you caused the slow-mo? You can't get it to go to- oh no! Turns out the uh, bathing suit she had underneath was just part of that costume. Actually, she's wearing some sort of sailor suit underneath. I understand that to be a school uniform from- that's right, Sailor Moon. Is why I call it a sailor suit. Now, it's possible that it, that is what they colloquially called it, and that's why she's called Sailor Moon. Maybe even likely that. Yay! That went great. Okay. What? Now, we haven't had a cleaver ball yet, you know? That thing where a ball... I thought I'd get to go the same way. That would have been really useful. Uh, eh, got it that time. Anyway, and that's where there's a ball and it just goes straight through a line uh, without get without bouncing at all. No! I both missed the hit and missed the power-ups? She's a maid now, everybody. So it's just a different... The girls just put on different cosplay outfits. Okay, I was, you know, with a game like Pretty Girls Breakout, you're like, is this going to be questionable? I'm gonna have to be concerned about this and edit a bunch to make it safe to air on YouTube. Whoa. Okay, that was ridiculous. YouTube? And the answer is no! <laughs> you know, I saw that as it was happening, 
and I still couldn't figure out to stop it. Whoa! Why is it blue now? Oh my god, is if you hit it in the sweet spot, it does double damage. Look. At the base, the base of the thing is blue. The t sorry, um, the top of it is red. And if you hit it with the red part, ironically, the ball turns blue. Well, not ironically. Unexpectedly. So you have to hit it a little early if you want to get the real power in there. Nice. And that's what was able to destroy those fancy blocks. Um, the, the glass covered or shielded blocks so quickly. Okay. Oh, look! So, in the original Arkanoid... This is kind of cool, actually. In the original Arkanoid... Um, careful. All of the multi-hit blocks were the same color. They were all gray. Right? Careful. Uh, whereas here, any color block can have one of those uh, shields placed on top of it. Which makes for a much, uh, what do you call it, uh, much more careful, there we go, uh, many more possibilities in the world of uh, level design. Because before, when you were doing art, you know, art in the level designs, making levels look like things, blah blah blah, oh my god, we have three ball multi-ball, everybody. I'm going to lose this panel on the bottom so fast, it's ridiculous. No, why am I flashing? Oh my god, I really did lose all of them so fast. No! Hey, she's wearing some sort of a robe. Nice. So yeah, really limited what you could do artistically if you were trying to make levels look like things, which they did from time to time. Because if you wanted to make it harder, you just had to put in more steel ones, which could only be the one color. Or two or three colors, because they would be slightly different color for each hit. But still, it's just gray. Whereas here, you can do whatever you want, and at the same time, make the level as hard as you want. So I say, really good choice in your design. Pretty girls break out. Damn it! Okay, I feel like there's maybe too many of these things? No! Oh, thank God. How am I going to get that one, those ones way up there? Like, how is that supposed to happen? I thought it was going to be one of those things where I say, how is that supposed to happen? Okay, so the time in which I hit it can change. No, maybe it can't change the trajectory. It just came back with a slightly different trajectory. Come on. What is happening? I'm going to lose this level, everybody. It's so embarrassing. Well, it's not that embarrassing. It's a tough level. See? No! I don't know why I was about to say, why can't I just put in another quarter and continue? Because it's a home game, Ogaru. You know how things work, so why are you pretending that you don't? I don't know. Attention? <laughs> Yeah, it seems like that middle section is going to be the hardest to destroy, so I better... Oh, how do I keep screwing up like this? Yeah, slow isn't really that necessary right now. So, when that was... No, I was saying when we kept losing those balls just then, did I not take damage? But no, I did. I'm really low on health. In this level, I really feel like I don't need to slow that much. I don't know that it's helping me. Okay. 
Okay, I think we got it now. Sorry I went so quiet there, but I've been really focused on the gameplay. This game is making me remember how much I've always loved uh, Arkanoid-type games. I still don't know what that flip side is. Is it making my sword longer? What is that? Like, it's arrows going in two directions, and I don't really understand what it is. Yeah, I think it makes the sword longer. Okay, that explains it. We got the whole middle section done. This might actually be possible. Whoa, that was close. No! Come on, you got this, Hogaru. Do you, though? Do you, though? I almost did that thing again where I... Ah. Uh... <gasps> no! Yes? Okay. got this. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Come on. We have this. No, we don't. That was really bad. What did you think that was going to do, Hogaru? No, hit it in the wrong direction some more. Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> it was weirdly challenging, and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, it's just, uh, there's seven girls. Sumire. The seven girls, really good level design, and Tsubaki, and there doesn't seem to be any nudity, or honestly, even scandalous costumes. When they, when they say it's just pretty girl breakout, it really is. It is, uh, what? Uh, they can shoot at me now? And I guess if it hits me, it, uh... This just game just gets more and more interesting. What happens if I let one of those get past the bottom? No, see, nothing. But if they hit me, I would lose health. What a cool... What a cool addition! See, this is what I'm saying. Like, every new addition this thing makes... I find intriguing in its own way, and I think they're doing a great job. Alright. Anyway, uh... Careful. I'm gonna wrap up this level and we'll call it. Way to go, whoever made this. I keep trying to hit the cannon, thinking that'll do something. No, the cannon has to be for the whole level. That's the whole fun of the cannon. Because it's there, looking after you. I'm kidding. It's causing huge problems for you. Nope. Careful. Yes! We got this. Come on. No! Well, that was embarrassing. I actually came pretty close. Did you try something? Yeah, I'm real bad when they're that uh, close at the front. Alright, so let's see what... I, so there's dressing room. What is dressing room? Do you just get to check out the various outfits? Oh, sorry. That's so cute! Yeah. And each one has their own different room. Nope, it's all the same room. Well, I do like looking at that uh, plushy penguins on the ground there. So you can tell they're emperor penguins because they have they have crowns. Dumbest thing I've ever said. Anyway, so yeah, this seems honestly like surprisingly pleasant and fun for all. Clear all stages, delete save data, reload title screen, reset achievement. Oh wow! Game's not out yet, so the developer buttons up there. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. See you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, I'll say that's right. Au revoir.